So, welcome to Punchestown then, the SO6 helicopter. Got me here while Stu was calling those races from Fotwell. This is a two mile two foot on listed race, the Grable Hurdle. Top one is Kingdom of Cult, Joshua Sutherland, Legends Mark, Derek Hinton, Persian Paradise, Leon Van Rensburg, Rijkaard, Alex Cherry, U Sir Usain Bolt, Paul Rhodes, Black Widow, Molly at Surfer, Burntwood, Martin Needham, Cumber Velara, Darren Thompson, Eskimo Jane, David Robertson, Half Time, Tea Time, Stu Gray, Jasmine, Graham Clutterbuck, and Sunhouse Jim Murray. Away they go then. And it's a bright day here in Ireland for a change. It's quite more than likely raining when we come here, but it's uh, pretty bright today. And Eskimo Jane has gone into a quick lead as they jump the first of nine flights of hurdles. And they are going lickety split, these hurdlers. And Eskimo Jane has quickly gone five lengths clear of Sunhouse in second with Rykard up that one's inside. And the one on the rail is Jasmine, then the Grey's Legends Mark. And the Molliet Surfer colours of Black Widow. Next to that one, Stu Gray's Half Time Tea Time and Josh's King of Cops wide on the track as they take number two. And then after that one, Cumber Velara and Sir Usain Bolt with Burnt Wood, just a back marker. So Eskimo Jane it is then. Clear by about four lengths to Sunhouse in second. Rykard just being hurried along by the jockey there to keep his place in third. Jasmine's got a nice position on the inside as they take the third. And over that one they go then. And Eskimo Jane continues to show the way as they cross that little roadway there that goes right the way across to the stand up. And it's Eskimo Jane in front from Sunhouse, who's now moved into second. Jasmine on the inside is third. Then comes Legends Mark in fourth. Rykard is fifth. Then comes Black Widow and Persian Paradise, the second of the Greys, with Kumba Valara in the white sleeves over on the, in the centre of the track with Kingdom of Cults as they take the fourth. And Burnt Wood still the back marker, but getting a little bit closer now as Eskimo Jane's lead is down to about three. So Eskimo Jane by three, then to Legends Mark in second for a resurgent Derek Hinton. Then comes Jasmine and Sunhouse with Persian Paradise. Kingdom of Colts is still giving away ground, but he's plenty close enough at this stage. Cumba Valara trying to go that one's inside. Rykard is still being hurried along by the jockey. And Sir Usain Bolt is going to try and get up the inside, it would seem. And Black Widow has just been shuffled back a little bit as they take the fifth. And they're all safely over that one as well. And Eskimo Jane's lead is a length to two from Sunhouse in second. Then Jasmine Cumber Valara is getting much closer on the outside. And Persian Paradise is still there as well. So the two greys are running together there. Legends Mark and, and Persian Paradise. Um, Kingdom of Colts is up the centre of the track still as they take the sixth. And over that one they go. And Burntwood has actually jumped past one now as Black Widow drops to the back. But it's Eskimo Jane who's led all the way so far. And there's just six and a half furlongs still to go. And Eskimo Jane is in the lead from Sunhouse in second. Kingdom of Colts around the outside still giving up ground but still getting closer. Now a little bit boxed in is Jasmine as Sir Usain Bolt shuts the door on that one. Kumba Valara is still there. Then the two greys, Legends Mark and Persian Paradise. Half time, tea time's making a sweeping run round the outside. Burntwood's trying to get into it. Black Widow is next as they take the the seventh, Rykard dropped right out, out of the back. But it's Eskimo Jane with two more flights to take. Eskimo Jane still in the lead, but they're queuing up behind her. Sir Usain Bolt looks to be a big danger as he's coming, looming on the outside. Also still there is Sunhouse and Legends Mark and King of Colts trying to get going. Jasmine just caught a little bit flat-footed on the inside. Persian Paradise has dropped away, but it's Eskimo Jane racing now towards the straight with less than three furlongs to go and two more flights. There's the second last. Over it they go. And now Eskimo Jane is being pressed by Jasmine up the centre of the track. King of Colts, Sir Usain Usain Bolt looks to fit a fat spot coming round the outside. Black Widow look beating a couple of furlongs going now looks a big danger with one to take. A race towards the final flight. It's virtually four in a line. Over it they go and it's still Eskimo Jane with but Kingdom of Cults and Black Widow up the centre of the track. Cumber Valara coming with a run as well. They're inside the final furlong. Kingdom of Cults has just hit the front but here comes Cumber Valara. Cumber Valara is coming out with a big chance. Black Widow beat. They come towards the line now. Cumber Valara and Eskimo Jane up towards the line. It's Cumber Valara and Kingdom of Cults. Usain Bolt is finishing like a train but not fast enough and Cumber Valara takes it. So Usain Bolt was second, and Rykard was the last to finish. It was all change in the final furlong, and all change so much my voice nearly went. It was Cumber Velara who took it. It was Darren Thompson, I think, 
It is indeed Comba Valara for Darren Thompson takes it from Sir Usain Bolt for Paul Rhodes was second. Sun House for Jim Murray was third. Kingdom of Colts, who gave a lot of a lot of ground away, was fourth for Joshua Sutherland. Persian Paradise ran on for fifth for Leon van Rensburg. And the long-time lead rescue mode ran right back to seventh. <laughs>